All right, number five, <clears throat> we have a, a sequence of cubes and then they're being glued together and we're going to paint the exposed sides and we want to know how many uh, squares will we have to paint in the 15th figure. All right, so we need to find the pattern first. So uh, I'm going to make a, a list. First, second, third, we're given three. All right, in the first one, <clears throat> we have a cube. All the sides are exposed. We have six, if you count the sides, uh, front, back, top, bottom, left, and right. There are six sides that would have to be painted. In the second figure, we glue the two together. So the two sides in the middle won't be painted, but the two top and bottom, there's four. Front and back, there's four more, eight, and the side nine, and that side 10. So there'll be 10 squares that we paint in the second figure. And then in this third figure, we have three on top, front, back, and bottom. So three, six, nine, 12, 13, and 14 on the sides. So we'll paint 14 there. Okay, as we can see, if we try to find the common difference from each term, that is adding four. This is also adding four. So from here, we can do our formula. I want to find the 15th. So A15 would be equal to the first term, six, plus that common difference, four, times 15 minus one. So I'm just using the formula, plugging everything in as it would go. So we would do six and four times 14. I can just do 60 minus four, it gives us 56. All right, and then this will give us 62. So we would have 62 squares to paint in the 15th image. All right, part B, the nth figure will have how many squares? So now we just want a general formula, okay? So we're gonna do um, a n equals six plus four times n minus one. And so we'll get six plus four n minus four, and then this will give us four n plus two. All right, so general formula will be four n plus two. 